Well, hello and welcome to Bay Area Focus. I'm Emily Turner in for Michelle Griego. We have so much to cover this morning. Fashion, wine, but first, after more than 17,000 performances, Beach Blanket Babylon is going dark on New Year's Eve. Here to talk about the show and its stellar run is producer Joe Schumann Silver and actor Kurt Branham. Welcome to Bay Area Focus. I just have to say, huge fan of the show, huge fan of both of you. It Thank is you. so Thank amazing. You. you have to be so proud of what you guys have put together. We, we are. are. It's, <laughs> it's been an amazing journey. It's been just a magnificent journey. I mean, I don't think Steve ever knew 45 years ago that this show would last 45 wonderful, packed, glorious, entertaining, and creative years. And uh, I think he's just having a ball watching us. And Joe took it over 25 years ago, and she's, she's made it fly even higher. So lots it's been of wonderful. smiles, lots of laughs yeah. since then. Yeah, the show was wonderful. For, for people who haven't seen it, how would you describe it to someone who might, you know, want to come watch? Oh, I think I'd say <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's just about fun. It's about creativity and fun. It's Snow White looking for the man of her dreams. She's a little hard of hearing, and so... <laughs> Every time she thinks, you know, I should, I should go to Italy and hear some Italian opera, she hears Oprah, and so Oprah appears. And then Oprah talks to her, and, and it's, just, it's just about creativity and fun and enjoyment. It's 90 minutes of wackiness, which I think the world really needs. San Francisco, open your door. I love about it is that it has political commentary and just commentary about the headlines and whatever it's is what happening. We put in what's in the news today and if we think the audience is going to care about it we'll put it in that night. That's how good our people are. We could get it in tonight and if nobody cares it goes out the next day. I've often wondered about that because I've seen the show several times. It's never the same. No. How often does the show change and I mean, you can really pivot on a day basis? Oh yeah, that's how good our people are. If I see something in the morning, and then I'll call all of our, all of our creative people and say, let's put this in and see what it's, and the kids, the kids, the before. I'm a, I'm a child, <laughs> child actor. The kids can get it so fast, and it's in that night, and then it's up to the audience. Yeah, we kind of all avoid the director about an hour before the show. <laughs> if we see him with the little yellow pad walking towards us and right. ripping out the sheet going, here, we're going to try this in this section. And so it, it, we're, we're ready to go, though. But those, those moments are fun. Those moments are spontaneous. Doing the show for so long, sometimes that spontaneity, it needs that oomph and uh, a new section, a new moment, a new bit. And and just the the who knows if it's going to work. But it I, is up to the audience. Right? It is, and it's, and it's, we judge it by the audience. So and, you get you have like a laugh meter, basically. Well, we'll give it a couple shows. We if can it, tell. And, but sometimes we love the groaners too. There's some groaner lines <laughs> that are just those are fun too because the reaction after the groan is is marvelous. So when when you're in a show like this, you're allowed to play a little bit and you're allowed to work off the audience because the audience is so important. You know. We would be nothing without any of the audience. And it really is the fourth character, the fourth wall in the show. Absolutely. Yeah. And so after all of this time, these amazing shows, we're now kind of in the final countdown. Talk about what, what you're feeling, what you're going through, and the anticipation of that. I'm just so proud of the show. I'm so proud of the 45 years. And it's just the right time, and we're going out on top. Yep. And the show deserves it. Yeah. It's wonderful. We're all super proud of the show. We all do it with, there's so much more um, um, appreciation, I think, on stage that we're knowing, you know, these moments are our last moments. We're into our last few months. You never know. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's been such a joy and such a ride. And we're, we're all watching each other and laughing with each other. And uh, tears at the end, there's always tears at the end because it's just, it's, it's tough to sing San Francisco. It's tough to sing Happy Trails. And the audience is, so many are coming because they know we're closing and they're balling along with us. And know, we still have six more months, so, months so, <laughs> yeah. so there's plenty of time for folks to come and see yes. the yes. show. Yes. Do you have anything special planned for like a big finale? And, On New Year's Eve? Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, we do. Are New Year's Eve's are always kind of nuts. Yeah. Are you we're, sold out? Because I feel like I should go buy tickets and be, make sure I'm there on New Year's Eve. Come see us. It will be fun. It'll be, it'll be things that people will never get to see again. We always put in about 10 minutes of, of new material, and we try things, and we're a little over the edge sometimes on New Year's Eve. <laughs> that is a, we can say anything. On New Year's Eve, we yes. figure anything goes. It's, it's all... It's all good. We oh, can go for wonderful. it. So well, New Year's Eve's are always unique and fun. And so everyone will have to come and check you out. If not New Year's Eve, at least some point over the next few months, make sure that, that you can come. Thank yes. you guys so much. Thank so you. So exciting. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, thanks to Joe and Kurt. And remember, Beach Blanket Babylon, their final performance, like we were just talking about, is New Year's Eve, December 31st. So until then, tickets are on sale at BeachBlanketBabylon.com. All right, coming up, plus size fashion that finally fits when Bay Area Focus returns in just a moment.